Hey guys, it's Chris here at Engine. In last week's video, we gave you guys an overview of our new beta release for Menu 2.0 and all the features associated. In the video this week, we'll be concentrating on one area in particular, the Style Editor section. This is where most of your design work will take place, and we'll quickly show you through this video how to create an awesome menu just like the one above the Engine forums. If we head over to Admin and then Pages, you can see the two menu modules we currently have set up on the Engine forums. Both menu modules have been set to the fixed top position, with one holding our menu items and the other holding our widgets and admin functions. To get started, we'll need to edit the menu module. Our first stop will be the Menu Manager tab. From the Menu Manager, you'll want to create your menu structure, in particular any sub-menus and division lines which we'll be able to edit later. Division line items help keep your menu a bit cleaner, so make sure you use them if you have many sub-menu items present. Ok, next stop, the Style Editor. This is where we'll be covering most of our information for this video tutorial. From the Style Selector tab, the first thing you'll want to do is choose your menu's positioning. You can have the menu fixed to the top of your website, or have the menu contained just like any other module. Since we are using two different menu modules on the Engine website, it makes sense to have a fixed top position and so things look a bit cleaner. Do note that having a fixed top position menu will automatically remove your login and admin dropdown widgets. You'll need to re-add these functions separately to the Widgets tab inside the Menu 2.0 module. From the Style Selector tab you can also choose a preset theme. We've gone for the Clarity Blue theme. Our next stop will be the Background Styles tab. This is where you'll customise your menu background. From here you can customise your background size, colour and a few other features. We've selected a background height of 55 pixels, as well as a nice blue colour gradient. We've also chosen to hide the top and bottom menu stroke lines. The Font Style tab is where you'll customise your menu font settings. You can choose your font style, size, as well as a bunch of other features. Two cool features we've included in our menu is the Font Effect and the Font Hover Effect. We've added a small drop shadow to the font, and a nice small glow on font hover. The next section we're going to cover is a really useful section, the position and gap section. This is where we'll position all our menu items and buttons. To save you a lot of time fiddling with the settings, make use of the auto center and margin spread options. The gap between button section is a useful place to keep your buttons tidy. We've chosen to include a 2 pixel black gap between our buttons with a secondary lighter colour to form a shadow effect. You can also choose the divider placement, ours is set to in between front and last. The next section is the buttons tab, this is where we'll customise our buttons. We've chosen to keep our buttons transparent, so we've hit the disable button style option. If you want to make use of buttons however you can set the size, choose the gradient or upload your own custom images, just like the backgrounds tab. The next stop will be the Button Hover tab, and we've chosen again to disable the style in this section. Many of the same options can be found here as in previous sections, but do take note of the Text Hover Effect options. The last button section will be the Button Selected tab. This is where you'll customise your design once a button is selected. Again, we've chosen to disable this style, but you can easily set this to an image or colour to show a user they've selected a button. The Menu Icons section allows you to customise any icons you've uploaded in the Menu Manager section. These include the icon size, colour and any effects. Our next stop will be the Sub Menu section. This is where we'll customise all our sub menu items. From here you can choose how the sub menu drop down will open, the speed, the position and the effect of the drop down. We've chosen the effect Slide Down and Up and for the sub menu drop down to open on Mouse Hover. From this section also you can customise your submenu background colour, as well as uploading any custom images you want. The submenu button tab will allow you to customise your submenu buttons. You can customise your button's height, gap size, colours, effects and the speed. We've opted for a very slow instant change effect on our submenu buttons.
The submenu header section is where we will customize our submenu item dividers. Under the submenu header divider section, you'll be customizing any division line items you added to the menu manager section. As you can see, we've chosen a two pixel tall blue division line for our submenu dropdown. The very last section is the miscellaneous section. From this section, you can choose your menu width in percentage as well as the horizontal position. And that's it. That covers all the sections in the style editor we use when creating our engine for a menu module. One final item we'll cover on our main menu module is the little logo in the left hand corner. You can add your own custom logo or image to your menu by heading over to the widget section and adding an image widget. As you can see we've added two images to our image widget. One being the main engine logo and the other being the same logo with a small glow effect. This simple image switching is what's causing the cool glow effect on mouse hover. For convenience sake we've also chosen to link back our image to the engine forums. If you've watched any of our previous video tutorials or checked up on our guides on the engine forums, you may know that using two menu modules together in the fixed top position is a great way to separate your menu items. We've made use of this trick on the engine forums. Creating a very simple design second menu module in the fixed top position. This menu sits above our main menu module and contains just our admin login and social widgets. You can make use of as many menu modules as you want, so never feel that you have to cram all your items onto one single module. We hope you've enjoyed our second video tutorial covering the style editor in our menu 2.0 beta release. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send in a support form, all links included in the video description.